absorptive capacity for open innovation. Now, in our increasingly open innovation world, wouldn't it be useful to have the ability to recognize the value of new external information, assimilate it and apply it to commercial ends? Now, if all the smart guys don't work for you, then it's going to be important to have the skills and processes to make sure that what they know somehow finds its way into our organization and that we make effective use of it. It's really a case of building some capabilities in this area. And the good news is that we've known about this problem for a long time. The ability we refer to is what two researchers, Cohen and Leventhal, talked about in a very influential paper way back in 1990, and they termed it absorptive capacity. So, having given it a neat label, you might expect that the next stage in the process would be for the researchers and practitioners to put some flesh on the bones and identify just what organisations need to do to build absorptive capacity. Unfortunately, while the initial question was elegantly framed, a sort of academic fog has grown up around the term, with many competing and even conflicting definitions and a lot of discussion about what absorptive capacity is rather than how to do it. So, great conference fodder, but not so useful in answering the key question, what do I do on Monday morning? One notable exception to this was the work of another couple of researchers, Zara and George, who suggested that absorptive capacity actually wasn't a single thing, but a series of linked behaviours. Whilst there might be great potential in new knowledge out there, realising it would depend on pulling off four key tricks. Identifying what's out there and relevant to us, acquiring it, assimilating it, making sense of it in our context, and finally deploying it in ways which add value. So we're still left with the challenge of how to make this happen. The good news now is that there are several excellent tools to help us in the process. For example, identifying what's available becomes much easier when we've got the powerful tools of web-based search, innovating markets like Innocentive.com, the possibility of employing specialist brokers to search around our periphery, using crowdsourcing, and so on. But in order to work with this knowledge spaghetti and weave those strands into something which creates commercial or social value, we still need to look to our own capabilities and be clear how we address these four key questions. Strengthening our absorptive capacity to operate effectively in an open innovation world not only means learning some of these new tricks, but it's also worth revisiting our old repertoire and dusting it off. A classic example of dynamic capability, reviewing, revising and sometimes changing, replacing our innovation routines. So here's a framework of questions which might help start that reflection process. We should ask ourselves of our innovation management routines, which ones should we do more of or strengthen? Which ones should we do less of or even stop? And which new ones do we need to learn and add? And we want to apply these questions to think about the key tasks in absorptive capacity. So let's answer the question of innovation management routines around identifying useful external knowledge. Those routines around acquiring external knowledge. Those routines around assimilating it, connecting it with what we know and do. And those routines around helping us deploy it into products, processes and services.